What I'm talking about here is what I call the groundswell. It's when people get what they need from each other because of these social technologies, enable them to find each other now. And that's exactly what's happening with the people you're trying to reach, your members, your volunteers, the people you're trying to influence and, and impact. They're coming together because of this. Now, it could be very terrifying in some ways because you have people like Dave Carroll out there doing these things to you, potentially. But in the same ways, I also think about it as something that's very powerful. And the reason why is because this is a fundamental power shift that's happened. There's no going back to the old days. Those old days are gone. This is inevitable. The groundswell is there, and you have to learn how to deal with it. Now, when you think about all of these technologies that John was talking about, they feel like buzzwords, don't they? They feel like Facebook, Twitter, friend feed, and I guarantee you, a year from now, when you come back, there will be a whole new slew of them. What I want to tell you today is that those technologies, that's not what this is about. This is about relationships. It's about the relationships you can form, create, and really develop amongst each other and with the people you're trying to reach. And I think the best example of this is what President Obama did last fall with the campaign. He changed the rules. He made a power shift happen. Because instead of just developing the relationships himself, reaching out hand by hand, person by person, he used these technologies to go out to reach people so that they felt empowered. He shifted the power from him and his campaign to the people. And by doing that, he did have to give up some of the control, but he gained so much more. He gained a movement, and he created a groundswell. So the question for you today is, how do you create your groundswell? What kind of relationship do you want? Do you want a relationship that is short-term oriented, one that's focused on a transaction, short-term outcomes, one that feels a bit more impersonal because you don't know who the other person is on the other side of that relationship? Would you want something that's more long-term, something that is passionate, intimate, where there's a sense of loyalty between you and the people you're trying to reach. I call it the engagement pyramid. And the pyramid, as you can see over here, are it's a, a different levels of people in the way they engage with you potentially as an association. At the very bottom are people who I call watchers. They're on the sidelines. They're looking at all this content you're creating, sometimes on your site, sometimes on blogs, sometimes on other sites like Facebook, or even the content that your members are creating. And they're watching it, but they're not actively participating. But that's the first level. The very next level after that is the simple, simple act of sharing. They may have found the information so valuable that they think, hey, I know somebody over here in my group, in my organization, who could really benefit from this too. Or they share it to a general community, for example, on Dig or on Facebook. One level above that are people who are commenting. People who will be adding reviews or ratings onto a, a topic. They could be commenting on a blog post or participating in a discussion group. Then there are producers. Producers are people who create content for a very specific audience. They're producing, curating information for them. And at the very top are curators. Again, a very special role. They're actually running the communities looking at all the content being produced, deciding what's relevant, what's not. They could be moderating for forums. They could be editing wikis. They may be oftentimes your employees. But I think in the deepest levels of engagement, they're your most passionate member association volunteers. Now, when you look at this diagram, I think a key thing to remember is that you may want to be at the very top. You want that deep engagement. But the place to start is at the bottom. Because if you don't have a firm foundation, it won't stand on itself. 